What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2022 Topps Chrome Ben Baller Edition. This is a 12 box case break. Pikachu's number 12. And here we go, guys. Tristan, last ball, Ojo Blue Jays. Alright, guys, so like I've always done, I'm going to rip six boxes first. Then we'll go through the six boxes and then we'll rip the next six after that. Tight ends are running their 40 right now. One dude ran it in 4-5-4. Four, four. Will Mallory out of uh, the U, I think.
All right, guys, three more boxes, and then we'll go through the cards, guys. Trash. How are you doing today, man? stuff is fun. I have not, man. I soccer is the last sport I really pay attention to, honestly. Not that I don't like soccer, but I already pay attention to too many other sports ahead of time. <laughs> and you're calling him the Julio Rodriguez of soccer. So that's big praise. Uh, no, this is just a one caser. I just rip open half a case at a time.
All right, guys. Let's rip open, or sorry, let's go through the first six. All right, here we go. Tatis. And Vidal Brujan to start us off there for the Rays going to rob to 25. Got Nelson Cruz. To 99. Jesus Lazardo. We got a Brandon Marsh green for the Angels. Going to rob to 99. And whoa, we got a redemption. I know what redemption could mean. Come back to that right now. Giolito and Al uh, Sean Manea. Number to 10. Bobby Witt. All right, what's hiding behind Julio, guys? Here we go. Rose Gold Refractor Autograph Parallel. Which what, what number is Rose Gold? Wander Franco. Very nice. Rose Gold for the Rays. That is going to Big Dog Rob. There you go. Nice. That a 10? Nice. Yeah, Rose Gold Refractors are out of 10. Yep. Nice. That's a pretty nice one right there. I don't know if Big Dog is watching, but he'll watch the replay. I hit Big Dog last week, a Spencer Torkelson out of 5 on Instagram. And then a nice Shohei Otani out of 25 uh, a couple nights ago. So we've been on a little bit on a roll right there. Alright, nice solid first box. We got George Springer, number to 25, and then a Bobby Wood Jr. blue, little color match there, to 75. Water Franco base. We have a Drew Ellis, rookie to 99. Diamondbacks going to Steven, Bobby Webb base. Salvador Perez, out of 50. And Evan Longoria. Of Giants to 75. With Merrifield. Number to 99. Juan Soto.
Harrison Bader. 299. Dylan Carlson. Out of 50. We have Robbie Grossman out of 75. I was behind and watching. There you go, big dog. What's going on, man? Very solid hit, man. I don't I haven't really hit too many Wander Franco, so I feel like that's like one of my first ones. Rizzo. Out of 75. No problem, man. Hey, you put in the work, and I'm glad that it's paying off, you know? Obviously, you know how it is, right? How many how many times we went skunkless. So it's always good to cherish these moments. It makes up for a lot. But let's keep it going, guys. Still plenty of hits to go. Remember, guys, there still could be a second autograph here. You never know. Or some nice colors. Maybe a super fractor. Uh, still a lot of stuff, guys. Hunter Green to 75. To 75. And a Julio little die cut. Nice, O'Neal Cruz. That's what I'm talking about, right? Pirates going to Steven. That is 6 out of 25. The fact that he was once a Dodger. It's crazy, right? How many how many players the Dodgers had in the organization that they just traded away? Jordan as well. Craziness. Kepler. So ninety nine. Freddie Freeman. Out of seventy five. Gavin Sheets to fifty. Devers to 75 and a little Jake Myers to 99 rookie for the Astros all right two more boxes here guys and then we'll rip the next six Brandon Belt with a Julio Urias. That's a 99 and out of 50. Dodgers and Giants. Nice little Wander Franco. Orange to 25. Hunter Green. Green to 99.
Ozzy Alves. Ten ninety nine. Whoa. And a Jose Barrios to red for the Blue Jays, and then that's Brandon Crawford there for the Giants. Blue to seventy five. That's a nice little red right there. Four of five. Who has the Blue Jays? Tristan, last ball mojo. Nice little low number parallel. And O'Neill Cruz die cut. All right, last box here, and then we'll go to the next six. Max Freed to 25. Braves. Garrett Cole, Spencer Torgelson. Garrett Cole to 99 for the Yankees. Josh Hader. Charlie Blackman for the Colorado Rockies. We have JT Realmuto to 50 for the Phillies. That's d -Lo. And we should have one more color here. Luba. To 50. Another O'Neill Cruz. All right, sweet. So, red, Wander Franco, Neil Cruz, and a Wander Franco to 10 rose gold autograph redemption. Six more boxes to go here, guys. And again, the only thing that's sold out so far is a pack filler. But we have a couple hit parade breaks that are starting to get close. Uh, the pigskin mixer is also really close. Uh, down to single digits now in just the straight up spots. And then we're just a filler away from selling out the three box. Basketball mixer, 17 18 mixer. So, I think we can stay relatively busy tonight, guys. You know, doing the pigskin mixer, doing the three box basketball mixer, killing off both hip parades, probably. Probably do another inception, kill off the second half there as well. That's another four or five breaks right there, guys.
Going well, Steve. I was going to text you last night, but I didn't want to wake you up and break your heart or you wake up in the morning and see your heart broken. <laughs> yeah. That's not good. But you know, that's just how it is, oh man. Some products you do so well with, and some products that you really want to do so well with, you don't. But you know, it's the cup. You know what I mean, why are you going to stop? <laughs> Yeah, let me actually put back spots in the Hit Parade football because you guys sold it out. Yeah, I didn't know either until Nick told me last week that he got some more and he was going to do some two boxers. But, uh, or not last week, but earlier this week. But it was like the day of. He's like, yeah, I got someone, put some on. I'm like, what? <laughs> I was fortunate enough to at least do one. I'd love to do another one today, though. On oh, nine. So I'll put back nine spots in the baseball, or the football, I should say. Alright, so I put nine back in, and I'll make this the last filler. I wish I wish it was a week vacation, but it was kind of more just like a three-day weekend vacation. <laughs> but it was fun, man. I loved Arizona. 
A lot colder than I expected, but still warmer and better weather than here in LA. All right, sweet. <laughs> nah, it's okay. Nah, it was just uh, yeah, a little three-day getaway. Get out of this weird-ass cold weather here in L.A. Where it's snowing in Los Angeles. Yeah, so well, you didn't hear Jonathan Quick trade Steve? I mean, that's probably the biggest one of all. And then he got traded again to Vegas. But, yeah, we moved a couple people. Yeah, um, with the Quick trade, got uh, Corpus Solo. Statistically, he's done pretty good this year. And then, got Rikoff, which... It's a pretty good left-handed defense, and that'll be a big popular free agent that we hope to re-sign. Then traded, uh, I think, a third rounder for a young goaltender in what's that Michigan currently. Supposedly he's like a freak. He's like six seven. Has a lot of potential, but he's still in college. But that kind of helps the pipeline. That, tr that, that quick trade now, processing it, was a pretty good trade. It's just kind of tough because you gave up a first rounder, which, who cares, the Kings have too much talent already in, in, in AHL. They don't really need another first rounder to develop. But you basically traded away a first rounder for two rentals because although the Rikoff, of course, like I said, is going to get paid this offseason, the Kings could be the ones to pay him, but he said he wants to test out free agency probably. So you might lose him. And then Corpus Solo, of course, is also a free agent. I don't know if he's the long-term deal or anything like that, but... They did get better on paper, though, with those two guys. It sucks, you know, having to trade quick, but it just wasn't working out this year. And I think he expressed interest in playing longer than this season. So, you know, there was that possibility that he wasn't going to be a king next year anyways. So, if anything, kind of sped up his process. But... Him getting traded to Vegas could be like the worst thing because if Vegas decides to use him for the playoffs, that's when he really becomes Jonathan Quick more than anything. So we'll see how that goes. Well, the Kings have been playing good. I'm going to go to Monday night's game. Ovechkin and the Capitals are in town, so... 
Got some tickets for that. It's it's the basketball NBA trade effect, honestly. If you've noticed, a lot of the trade deadlines for a lot of sports are starting to pick up. Basketball does a hundred in a day. <laughs> you know? It's like NFL's trade deadline has gotten more spicier this year. You know, basketball's always been. Baseball, of course, the last few years, some big trades at the deadline. I think it's just the best way to do it. You're either going to dump players that might not be there next year. You don't want to pay them. You don't want to resign them. Get something for them while you can. And then you have those teams that are contending that really just need that extra little piece to become a real big contender. Yeah, that's what I do it, Steve. I, I try to go to, like, a few games a year where it's, like, one Canadian team, just because I like to see a lot of the Canadian fans everywhere. Try to see Ovechkin. I've seen him probably, like, seven times already. And then, if I can, if it lands perfectly on a Sunday-Monday now, then I try to go see, like, Austin Matthews in the Leafs. Which, it didn't land like that this year, but I'm happy the Capitals landed on a Monday. That way I don't have to really call off. Yeah, if you haven't seen Ovechkin play live, it's pretty wild. I mean, you can hear when he shoots that damn puck. What up, Chuckster? How you doing, buddy? Of course, seeing McDavid would be awesome too, but I don't think there was a Monday Night McDavid. Oh, actually, you know what? There was a Monday Night McDavid this year, but uh, I remember I was out of town that, that year, that this, this season. I couldn't go. McDavid's wild to see life too. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Next six. Santalan, and look at that, Royce Lewis. So there was a second autograph in here. Out of 25 for the Minnesota Twins, that's going to D'Lo. So we got a Wander Franco to 10, and a Royce Lewis to 25 autograph in this case. Not bad, right? Let's do it, guys. We'd love to do some cup hockey. You guys know me. Kyle Muller. Wander Franco. Santana to 50. Willie Castro. like five six hundred bucks and that looks really centered nicely too short print julio solid case so far guys dang Tim Anderson, 250. 
Hunter Green variation as well. For the Cincinnati Reds. Kev. O'Neill Cruz. And a Christian Yelich red. 87. One out of five for the Milwaukee Brewers going to Chris Parent. There you go, man. John Gray to 25. Kiva Ruiz. Trevor Story. Bobby Witt. I have four boxes to go, guys. The store's popping right now, guys. I have to close the door. Josh Lowe. It's a 75 for the Rays. Nick Castellanos. And a Mike Moustakas out of 10 rolls gold. Julio. JT Romuto out of 99. Nice, C.J. Abrams variation. San Diego, it's going to Devon. And a nice little Matt Olson there for the ace, Tristan. 250. Shohei Otani. Brian Reynolds and a 75. Mike Trout. Cubs down to 11 now? Hell yeah, man. Keep it going. Let's do the whole case tonight. How about that? Ooh, man. What a case. Wander Franco. Gold to 50 as well. Man, this has been a massive case. Jaron Duran. Uh, Jeremy Benny only has an autograph in this. He doesn't have any base cards. So you only can get a Jeremy Benny uh, autograph in this. Blake Snell. He's not, I don't even think he's a short print. Torkelson. Matt Olson. Out of 99.
Freddie Freeman. For the Dodgers, going to Harry. Trout. And an Evan Longoria for the Giants to 10. All right, two more boxes. Love to pull a super fracture right now, just just for, just because we've already pulled a lot of colors. Julio, Bobby Delback, two fifty. Yelly. Edward Cabrera to 25. Uh, there might have been one. I don't know if it was like the autograph or the base, but I'm sure there has been. Tim Anderson. And Jonathan India. <laughs> and Rodolfo Castro. Pirate right, Steven. All right, last box here, guys. Let's end it up strong. Austin Riley to 75 for the Braves. Going to Tristan. Gavin Sheets. White Sox. Chris Parent to 99. There's O'Neill Cruz. Joey Gallo for the Yankees. Jeffrey Dorlach. That's to 50. Arbor. Mookie Green to 99. Dodgers at Terry. Wow, CJ Abrams to 50. Man, this has been a very, very good case, honestly. Very, very good. Ele uh, sorry, 31 out of 50. Padres going to Devin. This has been an A1 case, that's for sure. Curtis Terry for the Minnesota Twins rookie. Bobby Witt. Wander Franco again there. Wow, nice, nice case. So again, lots of rookies, lots of color. But let me show you a quick recap of the bigger stuff.
All right, so again, we got a Hulu variation, which is nice. That's like 500 bucks right there. Hunter Green variation, CJ Abrams variation, little Julio 87. We had out of five Jose Barrios and out of five Kristen Yelich. Wander Franco orange die cut to 25. O'Neill Cruz orange to 25. Wander Franco to 50, and a CJ Abrams to 50. Then we have, of course, a Wander Franco rose gold at a 10 redemption autograph, and then a Royce Lewis orange to 25. Safe to say, guys, I mean, damn. This was a pretty awesome case right here. And getting a couple nice short prints, including the Julio one, was pretty awesome. So there you go, guys. That was Ben Baller number 12. 13's in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.